So one of my main ambitions this week has been installing the turbos on the car and kind of finalizing where they're going to live. And one of the hurdles to do that was going to be clocking the turbos. So I basically had to learn how to do that this past week and I will show you what I learned. So here I have one of my turbochargers with the compressor housing taken off and then I have the other one uh, fully assembled here. So I'm going to go through what you should think about when you're clocking or even when you're thinking about buying a turbocharger. So one of the main things that you want to make sure when you're installing or picking where you're going to install the turbocharger is the oil drain you'll want to have facing down and so um, you will have to rotate or uh, clock the turbo such that the oil drain should be facing down towards the ground and the way that you can do that in this case is loosen these bolts and turn this inner housing and that will turn the center section relative to the exhaust housing and that's pretty straightforward um, on this older turbocharger it's almost 20 years old it uh, it took a little you know finagling to actually get it to turn but nonetheless uh, I successfully have done that and then the next thing you're gonna have to think about is basically how the compressor housing is also um, clocked on the turbo and things you'll want to think about there is um, mounting of the wastegate. So if you're using an internal wastegate such as I am, basically you need to make sure that that can mount on the compressor housing, assuming you have a similar setup that I have. And so the nice thing about the Garrett T25s is that basically this aluminum around the outside here where you see these bolt holes, um, you can drill that anywhere and tap new threads into it, which is exactly what I've done here. The two on the leftmost side are the ones that I've recently drilled and tapped, and that is how where I'm going to mount the wastegate uh, bracket on this. And so that's going to be relative. So the first thing you do is you um, make sure the oil drain is pointing down, make sure that um, you can everything around clears your wastegate you don't want the shake of the engine um, while it's running to smash the wastegate into something and then basically clock the best way you can for your intercooler piping um, this keeping in mind that you'll have to mount that wastegate bracket um, again if you're using an external wastegate that's not something you have to think about but in my case I'm using the internal ones and that's what I have to think about so then um, to actually clock the compressor housing here you'll have to remove or actually loosen up this giant snap ring and on a 20 year old turbo such as I have it was pretty crusty so we actually went through a set of Harbor Freight snap ring players they just completely bent that those things up so what I would recommend is getting a nice set of snap ring players and I have had to find exactly that this is the set that I went with um, this is a gear wrench brand apparently and these actually I found worked really well for this large of snap ring so I'd recommend something like this even though they do kind of look gimmicky compared to other ones they worked really well and so basically what you have to do is you have to put those snap ring players into your snap rings holes there and then pull those in so compress the ring while you're wearing safety glasses because you could lose an eye if not and then um, your snap ring should come out and you can pull the compressor housing off so that's what I've done here and I really only needed to remove this so that way I could drill and tap those holes but now once that's done I can put this back together and I can put it back on the car so Hopefully that makes sense. That's just a couple of things that you can think about while you're um, planning out your turbo build, when you're thinking about where the turbos are going to live, 
uh, making sure that you have clearance for everything and knowing the clocking limitations of your given turbo. In this case, the Garrett T25s off the 2G DSM were easily clockable in almost any direction, so that was a win.